In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use .NET MAUI localization. Localization allows you to have one application that is readable in multiple languages. The app will depend on the phone's language or regionalization settings. Um, I'm going to do this using older technology. I haven't quite figured out how to get the new .NET MAUI resource dictionaries to work with localization. Um, hopefully I'll get that working and come back with a better video. So I've got a basic app. I have your standard Hello World app. I took out some of the features that were in there. I think it's going to start here a second. Uh, when I, I didn't put as much here, and I need to change the verbiage. Like I want to change Hello World. I want to change cute dot net bot waving hi to you, and I want to change home. Okay, so I'm going to change all of those. So I'll stop my program. So I'm going to start by going to my resources folder and I'm going to add some files. I'm going to add a new item and you'll find this under general a resources file. Now this is old school stuff. This ResX stuff is um, WPF but it's working here. I'll give it a good name. I'm going to call it strings. I'm going to stick with the Android Studio mentality. And it'll take a minute to load, and you get a nice little Excel looking document. Okay. What you do in here is you put keys home and the value. Um, I'm going to call this home title. That way you don't get confused between which keys which. Um, I need to set that. That'll be for home, and title will be for there. And description and heading or description and text will be from here. So I need an image description. I need a label text. And that is cute dot net bot waving hi to you. And then I need for the main page. I need label text. Ah. I'll save this so I have my file. I'm not going to use this. Let's go to my main page. We'll get this first one to work first. I'm going to need to add to my root, add to my root page. I'm going to need to add a new namespace, XML namespace, colon, and whatever name you want. These resources. CLR dash name my project, um, my localization, no, sorry, CLR namespace, colon, my localization, dot resources. Save. Okay, this now gives me this namespace of resource. I got resources from here, where I have my strings file. I uh, attempted putting these into a subfolder, but every now and then it gave me some glitches, like sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't, so I went with the time that always worked. So in the text, I'm going to replace this with, I'm going to call static, name of the file, which I called strings, dots, label that. Likewise up here. Notice that this is going inside of the quotes. This was image description. And I'll take this call. And I'll go to my app shell. I didn't test this, so let's hope this works. Put my namespace here, and instead of home, I'll have the home title. Okay. 
Okay, so I put those on all three pages. So I'm using the contents of that strings file. Let's run it my pixel, see what happens. Now while this is loading up, this gives you a really big advantage. Um, if you need to change the files here, if you need to change the verbiage, um, it's very easy to do. So just go to that simple document and it's updated. Now if this particular project happens to be used in a lot of places, or that project, I'm sorry, that text is used in a lot of places, once you change it in your strings file, it's changed everywhere. All right, so the project finally started. I paused the video for a while while it ran. Hello world there, home's there. It works like it did before. Okay, so now we're going to regionalize this, so localize this for uh, Spanish. What I'll do is I'm going to create another resources file. I'm going to put the same keys in there that I used. And I'll translate into Spanish. I'm going to try a copy and paste, see if this works. I didn't do this one before, but it should work. Now, the name becomes real important. It's going to call it strings.es. That's for Spanish. Microsoft has a website where you can look up all the language codes. It's on the Microsoft Learn page, but ES is for Spanish, R used for Russian, etc. So I'm going to open this up. Same files are there, but I'll use now Google Translate. Now, if you are a real company doing this, you'd have a translator on staff. You wouldn't depend on the programmer to do this, but you're probably a college student. So this should be sufficient. Hello worlds. Hola mundo. Mi español es muy malo. Alright, so there we are. Same things in Spanish. Strings.es.resx. Um, that file name becomes very important. Okay, so now we're going to test it. Now I have two emulators on my box, a Spanish one and an English one. That really kills your performance. So I'm going to demonstrate just how to switch this. Swipe up from the bottom, come down here to settings. Uh, you're going to go to system, languages, languages. Now we see English here. We're going to add Spanish and remove English. So I'm going to add and this is fine. It's working all day. Go back. Maybe go back. There we are. And then I'm going to remove English. Now what's going to occur is this phone is now going to be in Espanol. When you want to go to put it back in English, you're going to do the exact opposite, except everything's being displayed in English, so you're going to have to kind of remember where it was. So remember the idiomas is languages in Espanol. If I'm mispronouncing this, I apologize to all of my Spanish-speaking viewers. I'm going to go all the way back. Maybe. You'll see everything on the screen is in Spanish, even the time. Okay, so I've made that change. I'm going to run it again. Uh, as you know, anytime you add something to resources, it takes a while for this to compile, so I'm going to pause the video while I run it. All right. So the program ran. 
It's no longer home. It's Ogar, Hola Mundo. So it's an Espanol. Now, we did use Google Translate for this, so it's quite possible that the choice of home here is the wrong version of home. You know, I don't know. Again, if you're doing this professionally, you're going to hire a translator. You're going to find someone that actually speaks Spanish as a primary language and have them help you out. But at the bare minimum, you now know how to regionalize or localize your apps in .NET MAUI. All right, so to recap, you added a ResX file, which, as I said, was old school. You added one ResX file for each language you wanted. You named the file dot the language code dot ResX, and you used some type of translator service to put your words in. All right. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Have a good day. Good luck.